Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to export Adobe Audition presets for other machines. So it's all very well that you've created amazing presets in Adobe Audition, but you want to go ahead and use them on other machines. Well, it's possible, and this is exactly how I do it with my Adobe Audition presets. I save everything into a multi-track .sesx file, and then I can open that up on any machine. Let me show you how this would work. So essentially in a folder here, I've got this presets.sesx, uh, and this is an exact copy of my multi-track session here with all my different presets on the different tracks, all enabled, all with the settings that I use. And it's very, very simple. I can now open this on any machine. If I was to start from scratch, a new multi-track session, and we'll use just the default template. So this is what we come up with. And maybe we had something like mic compression and maybe another track with mic sparkle and bits like that. And then we create this amazing chain. So for compression, uh, maybe I'm going to go into amplitude and compression and I'm going to set, okay, dynamics and I'm going to set a nice compressor up. This is all really good. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm also going to go ahead and on my tube model compressor uh, and we can change that threshold minus 12, whatever ratio of 10 to one, really crush it down. Okay, this is a fantastic compressor. Now, obviously I can save this preset on my current computer and I can call it Mike's Awesome Compressor, like that, okay? But when I open Adobe Audition on another computer, Mike's Awesome Compressor will no longer be there. But if I save it into a .scsx file, as you'll see in just a moment, I can then recover it wherever I want. So let's delete Mike's Awesome Compressor uh, in a moment. First of all, I'm going to save this file. And for Mike Sparkle, maybe I go in and I create the most amazing EQ curve ever. Uh, it could be something like this. Boom and boom. Okay, that's my amazing Mike Sparkle EQ. I love it so much uh, and I really want to keep it. So now I'm going to maybe deliminate, eliminate these tracks. Deliminate or eliminate. Let's eliminate these tracks. Uh, delete empty tracks. Uh, or we can just delete the selected track uh, like this. And we can use the shortcut to uh, get rid of all the empty tracks we don't want. Uh, so there we go. Two presets I really want to carry over to any machine. File, save as. And we'll call this Mic Presets. And uh, we'll save this into a presets folder. So let's do that, presets. Okay, get rid of everything in there. And then we'll see if I go into a new audio file. Uh, let's start a new audio file and have a look. Uh, we can see Mike's awesome compressor is there, but Mike's sparkle is not there. Well, the good news is if I go to my downloads folder and I find those presets that I've just created and saved, you can see right here, Mike presets, now you could say I'm on another machine. I can open this file like that. I can go into the mic presets session and I can see my presets are still there with all the settings that I put into them, which is really, really fantastic. And then if I want to go ahead on this machine and save this preset as mic sparkle awesome EQ, that will now be available on my new machine. So if you want to find a great way to export presets to any machine. The best way is to create a multi-track session with multiple tracks with all your different effects inside the effects rack. Uh, and then you can open that session up on a new computer and providing you're using a compatible version of Adobe Audition CC, not an old version where you might have some of the effects missing. Everything will load up and work. All of the settings you've made, all of the changes you've made will be there. And that is the easiest way I found to copy presets between machines. But maybe you found a better way. Do let me know down in the comments.